Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash Season 7. We're going to be talking about DC Fandom Part 2. So, last night, I'm sure most of you guys checked out, and you can still check it out, I believe, from when this video will go up. I'm recording a bit earlier, so it's still available right now. But DC Fandom was available for 24 hours since 6pm yesterday. So 6 p.m. tonight it goes away, but I'm sure most of you guys have checked it out already. I had a whole bunch of DC TV panels out there, and there was a lot that was talked about. I'm gonna be talking about like the Superman stuff that was revealed probably tomorrow, and in today's video we're gonna be talking about the Flash season seven and their panel because they confirmed some big things. I wrote down all the big things that happened in the panel, and we're gonna be going over them in today's video. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so yeah, the season seven panel it was released in August, you know, when the first part of DC fandom came. It was very short, it was about 10 to 15 minutes, they cut down everything, none of the questions got like properly answered, but now they finally did in this extended panel that's still edited. There is some bits that are cut out, but apart from that, we have most of the answers as to what is going to be happening next season, and so we're going to be going through that in today's video. So the first big thing to talk about is to do with Cecile and her powers, and it was confirmed in the panel that Cecile's powers will be more active this season, so in season 7, and less passive like it's been in the past seasons where she's just been able to read people's minds and stuff and like feel their emotions, and so she'll be getting into some trouble in season 7. Eric Wallace did confirm, so it seems like Cecile, along with what we talked about in yesterday's video in regards to Joe, they're going to be having a little bit more story time or like screen time, so they're going to have a bit more focus, they're going to be doing some things a bit differently when we get into season 7, and so let's move on to the next thing, so Chester's power is his optimism, this was a bit that was cut off, this was a question that was asked in regards to like, you know, the interviewer was going through all of the different actors in the panel asking you know what's going to be different this season but they talk about Chester's real power and it's his optimism that's about it because it was cut off in the interview well in the panel and so let's move on to the next bit so we're going to get more Nash Wells and Allegra in the season because Eric Wallace was a big fan of it and we'll get more of that in season 7 we'll explore their relationship potentially their past that is just me speculating but you know, there is a greater relationship. Obviously, we kind of figured out and we saw how their relationship ended on the other Earth, but maybe there is more to explore. So we're going to get more Nash Wells this season. Nash Wells isn't going away. We're not going to get like a new version of Wells. So yeah, let's go on to the next point. So Barry and his Speed Force. So at the end of last season, they were still trying to get Barry's Speed Force back. He still doesn't have it and he is losing his speed exponentially like very very fast and so you know there is not much chance for him to get his speed back unless they manufacture a new speed force or somehow they bring back the old speed force so this artificial speed force is going to be the way that he's going to get back his speeds to powers and so they confirmed that Barry does miss his speed he hasn't just been like enjoying not having speed because if he actually had speed he would be able to probably save Iris he would be able to defeat Eva and things would be a lot easier, so Barry does miss the speed, that was confirmed. Okay, now the big thing I want to talk about, there's these two big things, and the first one is this. So, the Season 7 Big Bad, it was asked about, and so he didn't want to give too much away, that being Eric Wallace, the showrunner. However, he did reveal who is the main villain. Godspeed is confirmed to be the main villain, it's going to be either a guy or a girl, he's sort of teasing like it could be anyone. And so we'll find out about the mystery to do with the clones, and we will find out who the main Godspeed is, who is the person from the future or from the present, or like whoever is controlling and creating these Godspeeds is going to be in the next season, and he will be the big bad of the season because Eric Wallace did confirm that, and I'm super happy that they're going ahead with this mystery, figuring out who is this real guy or girl, and I really hope it's someone maybe that they introduce this season and then you know maybe it's a twist or they know them because Eric confirmed that Godspeed has supposedly no emotional connection to the Flash and Team Flash unlike Reverse Flash uh, but then Eric said or does he so there is an opportunity and there is a chance that the 
person in the future or wherever they are who is creating these god speeds and wants infinite velocity could be someone they either will meet later or at the start of this season or it's someone we know already so i think that's really interesting and that does bring up lots of ideas i think because eric was so adamant especially in this panel about loving the new dc comics loving the new flash rebirth comics that are currently still going on right now and seeing godspeed was in those and that's where he was first introduced maybe just maybe they're going to take from characters from there and storylines from there and if it's linked to black hole we can bring in Ragin, who has been a theory that we've been talking about like you know what happens if Ragin is the villain because in the comics Ragin is the creator and the basically the operator of black hole and he does have links to godspeed in the comics so i think it makes sense if it would be him rather than just like a normal version of august heart because we're kind of expecting that already i think he's gonna do something different with it because you know raging especially in the comics what he wants is he's not a speedster really but he is able to tap into lightning so there is a link there between the speed force and him so i think that would be a good bet However, I'm super excited for this. In Season 7, the big bad has been confirmed to be Godspeed. He will be the villain, whether it's the guy or girl. We're going to find out this mystery this season. Who will send in the clones back and everything like that. That is super, super exciting. Let me know in the comments down below how excited you are for Godspeed to be the big bad. Finally. Alright, so let's move on. This is the second big thing. This is the gold boots. And this is a story that they've been talking about for a long time. They want to make this upgrade at some point. But Eric in this panel confirmed it is coming. It will happen. He confirmed that. So, you know, sometime in the future we will get those gold boots. But when it's going to happen, we don't know. And he doesn't know right now. But he said a story is the best way to unleash them. To bring in the gold boots. So, I'm guessing, you know, there could be many theories about this. I would say maybe like a future version of the Flash. Or like an alternate version of the Flash. Like he sees that version with gold boots you know like he's had influence from seeing the future flash and then he changed his costume in season four maybe he will see a different version of the flash or like even not barry allen just like another version of the flash wearing those gold boots and he'll you know take it so i think the story has to be there that is what eric says he's not just gonna like randomly give him it like i guess it would be like a major upgrade for whenever that story does come and I think you guys will be very very excited about that because I know everyone wants to see the gold boots because it's comic book accurate I think it will look cool I think you know they've been wanting to do this for a long time so they should do it at some point okay so let's move on to one of the last things this is Team Citizen they're going to be investigating much more together they're going to be sort of dealing with Iris not being there and Camilla and that's how they're going to start the season. But then what was teased is they're going to be investigating a very specific thing that Eric wasn't available to or like allowed to tell people about. And so what could that be? Maybe it could be Godspeed. It could be something to do with the main villain. I kind of have this theory that it will be something different. It will be disconnected from the villain. It will probably have something to do with Black Hole maybe. But, you know, they kind of investigated that last season, so maybe they might move on from that. And I think it'll be, like, another story that's kind of linked to the villain, but not, like, directly or something. So they're going to be investigating maybe more Team Citizens this season. Okay, so Iris will be getting out of the Mirrorverse shortly. Grant confirmed this. We all kind of sussed this out already. So that's no big surprise, but I guess it's good to have confirmation that at least by, you know, episode 3 or something like that, Iris will be out of the Mirrorverse. I kind of have a feeling she's going to get out in episode 1 or potentially episode 2 if they're pushing it. But yeah, so that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, go check out DC Fandom. I'm sure most of you guys have... I believe it may still be up by the time I post this, but there is a chance that it won't be. So I'll tweet out on Twitter like before this, like for you guys to go check out. I'm sure all of you have. So the panels were amazing and I can't wait to talk about more. I'm going to talk about Superman and Lois probably tomorrow. There is a new Superman suit coming. Very excited about that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
Icy Road.